For example, you have the 100, 100 stocks are there, 100 products are there. Okay. In your store, 100 products are there. If you sold the 10 products, so within the seconds, it's going to show 90 products only. Available products will be 90. Take example the bus tickets. What are the bus tickets? The best example, you can take the bus tickets. If you book the bus ticket, within the seconds, it's going to book the ticket. Then for others, it won't show that ticket available. Right? The same way, this OLTP applications. Even all the, those, all the bus tickets, everything will come under the OLTP system data only. Online ticketing, everything will come under the OLTP only. Okay. For the data warehousing, so the data warehousing, we are going to deriving the data from the OLTP, right? Whatever the data is there here, OLTP data. Okay. This data we are going to derive from where we are going to deriving from here to right. From here to we are deriving. Whenever we refresh, then only this data will pass into the here. Otherwise, it won't pass. It won't move the it won't ingest the data into OLTP to OLAP. Okay. Here will be automatically it will refresh. But here means you have to manually you have to do the refresh. You have to bring the data from the OLTP to OLAP. If you didn't bring this data, then it won't come to the data warehousing. Okay. But in the real time, how it will be the data will be, it, how it, the data is going to move means. So, daily, daily, some data they are going to, 80% of the data they are going to bring into the daily basis. And weekly. Some data they are going to bring into the 15 percent of the data, it will come onto the weekly basis also and monthly basis also. The frequency, okay, the monthly frequency also 5 percent of the data you will get in the every month. First, of, uh, for example, every month, first Tuesday. So, every month, first Tuesday is going to generate some data that data they are going to pull into the OLAP to OLAP. Or every weekly, either Friday or Saturday, Sunday. For some day, weekly data they are going to generate and then they are going to move into the OLAP to OLAP. Okay. But some data, every day it is going to, once the data is, day is completed, at the early morning, 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock, they are going to schedule the data, schedule the uh, scheduling. Then it will pass the data from OLTP to OLAP every day. So the frequency will be there, data frequency in the real time. So, 80% of the data is moving from the daily basis and 50% of the data is going to weekly basis and 5% of the data is going to monthly basis. 99% only these frequencies only we are getting the data from OLTP to OLAP systems. Okay guys. So, in these three, they are going to ask the question into you on how, how, uh, how soon you are getting the data from your project. The frequency of the your data, the project data. You have to say we have the daily jobs are there, weekly jobs or monthly jobs. So this I am going to explain in the ETL concepts, ETL validation. That time I am going to explain one more time. Okay. So the refresh will be immediately and then it will be periodic. Periodic means you have to do the manually, whatever the your date you are set scheduled, that time is going to move the data from OLTP to OLAP. Okay. So, data model. So, data model means they are going to follow the entity relationship model, ER model. Okay. They are going to follow the entity relationship model. But here will be multi-dimensional or dimension model is going to follow. I am going to explain in the next class what is ER model, what is the dimension model I am going to explain in the next class. Okay. Schema will be normalized schema. They are going to follow the normalization methodology model. Under the year model, it is going to follow the normalization. This is the denormalization. So, denormalization come under the star and the snowflake. Snowflake. So, 
take it as a denormalizer. Okay, this is a denormalized model. Okay, so this question they are going to mandatory they are going to ask guys the which one is the normalized model, which one is the normalized, which one is the denormalized. Okay, transactional data is a normalized, analytical data is a denormalized guys. Okay, so emphasis means here will be update. It is going to override. Just now I explained with one example. It is going to update here in the in the source side, in the transaction side is going to update here. But here we are not go, just we are going to retrieve whatever the data is there in the source side. That data we are going to retrieve here. That data we are going to retrieve in the data warehousing. So these are the different uh, differences between the world the transactional data and the analytical data, guys. So, world AP is nothing but the online transactional processing. World AP is nothing but the online application processing. Sorry, online analytical processing. Analytic, analytical processing. Okay. So, the who is going to use one more time? I just I'm going to explain, guys. Who is going to use the world AP system means who are the front end applications they're going to use in the any store, any any place, any any domain. All the applications will come and it is going to generate the transactional data. The example will be ERP systems, CRM applications, SCM, legacy applications. So, who are the front end is going to use the applications? All the applications is going to generate the transactional data that are all it to come under the OLTP. Okay, the OLTP data means this OLTP data application is deriving from the OLTP. Okay. How we are getting the data means it is deriving from the OLTP data only. OLTP data only we are loading into the OLAP. Okay. The DCR is a decision support system, decision making system. Okay. So, staff people they are going to use the managers. So, weekly data, monthly data it is going to store here. Here, years of data. The refresh is going to update immediately. Here will be periodically. So, whenever we move, that time is going to move the data from OLTP to OLAP. Okay. Next year model is follow the year model, data model. Here is the dimension model. So, normalization is a denormalization. So, it will be update. OLTP is a update model. It is going to in the update mode. Here will be only retrieval, only selecting the data. We are not doing any manipulations in the OLAP. Clear guys, any doubts here up to now? OLDP and OLAP. Sorry, I have a doubt in yeah. OLAP. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes. Sir, in what type of projects in long term in OLAP, sir? Can you give me example for that, sir? In OLTP or OLAP. Yeah. All APs, all APs. So if you are working in all AP in last three years, so that is the example I want. So if you, I know that all AP, it is a, a tran immediate transaction data yeah. like a bus ticket so you can book. In the all AP, mm -hmm. okay. So all domain of the data is there. All the domains, okay. So in the data warehousing, irrespective of the so, domains, what are the domains are there? For example, telecom domain. Yes. Telecom domain is the projects are there, okay. Retail domain. What is meant by retail domain? Take the central shop or Flipkart or or the uh, lifestyle. Any any store. Okay. Just now I showed you. This is a garments. Just now last time I showed you one project. So previously I showed the project, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, where is that uh, reports? BA reports I showed you. So, this is the Godman's is a one project. Okay. So, Godman's. So, you can search on what is meant by Godman's. Just you can <laughs> go and search. This is the company client. Okay. Like how it will be the central shop here in our yeah, yeah. central shop. The same way the Godman's also one of the store in the US. They have the 157 stores. Yeah. 
the number of locations will be there 157 okay yeah okay like all will be there so this is a retail store okay so this project only so almost 5 4 years i worked on in this project uh, my previous company this one so this is a one of the client so this data they are generate so like gift cards this data, data they are going to generate all the stores what are the stores happen here the business is the retail stores as well as online okay central you can say only i think uh, retail stores you have to go store and then you have to buy okay but like there some stores will be both digital and retail okay digital and retail so this kind of projects it they have to maintain the olp what are the transactions happen here front end that transaction they are going to store into the store into the data warehouse okay so like that this is the ebay yeah. there, best buy is there there so many projects are there okay and then come to the insurance okay. health insurance projects take the any any insurance max uh, aditya birla okay and then max life okay and then the egan okay so these are the so many health insurance health domains are there health domain health product domain projects okay next will be what are the domains insurance domain insurance domain is there irrespective of all the domains are there in the irrespective of all the domains are there in the olap system data warehouse projects mine will currently i am working on the betting and gaming betting and gaming my domain means in uk it will be lottery systems are the legal in india it's illegal but in india in the uk it is legal you can go and then you can play the games like rummy all the games you can able to play a lottery systems okay these thing you can go and play in the in the uk will be legal 70% of the money generating for the this gaming systems only in the uk system uk so current may i am working on the project will be camelot uk you can see this project this company yeah so national lottery so you can go this here you can see from last 5 years the company is still the project is there still another 2 3 years is there project for this one Oh. <laughs>